In this video, I want to analyze the likelihood of this art piece happening where there are 11 fives. In this situation, a person rolled a dice 36 times, and every time a five came up, they drew these orange polka dots. But wait a minute, look how many times it came up. There are 11 of them, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They were, oh my god, fives. So. I want to look at what's the probability of that happening and what are all the probabilities of all the different ways we could have rolled some number of fives out of 36 rolls. We could have rolled no fives, one five, two fives. What are each of those probabilities? So the graphing calculator is, is actually pretty powerful to answer, uh, pretty well set, I suppose, to answer this question. First of all, we're looking specifically at the probability of 11 fives popping up. That's what happened here. So I'm going to hit second, variables, and then go to alpha A. That's my binome PDF. There were 36 rolls. The probability of getting a 5 is 1 out of 6. And it happened 11 times. So here's my first answer. It's about 1.7%. So we can say that the probability of getting 11 fives out of 36 rolls is about 1.7%. But what about the probability of getting no fives, or one five, or two fives? What are all those different probabilities? How do we find them all quickly? Well, we start by setting up a sequence. Click second, and stat to get your list commands. I'm going to go to ops right here, and go to choice five, which says sequence. Here I'm going to make a sequence of numbers. I'm going to use the expression x with the variable x. So it's a really simple expression with a variable defined. And I want to go from 0 through 36, all the different numbers of 5 that I can roll. And I, go to, I want to go up by 1s. I don't want to skip around. Hit Enter. And now if I hit Enter again, this will make a sequence. But I want to specifically analyze the sequence in a table. So I'm going to click Store. It's going to kind of save that sequence in the first list on a table. And that little L1 right there is what I need. So I hit second, one. So it's going to store that sequence in the first list on a table. Hit enter to store it. And now if I go to stat and edit, here's my first list with that sequence, 0 through 36. I go over. If I have old data in my table, I go up. I hit clear and then enter. Right, to clear off that list. Mine's already clear, so I go up to L2. And in this column, I'm going to analyze the different binomial probabilities represented by these number of fives. So in the first case, I'll do second, variables, alpha A. And I said the first case. In all cases, what I'm looking at are 36 trials. The probability of getting a five is always one out of six. And how many fives am I getting? Well, that's what list one is defined as. It's the number of fives. So I hit enter, enter again. And now I get a list of values that are the binomial probabilities for each of those fives. And if I scroll down to 11, I can see I get the same answer as before. The probability of getting 11 fives is about 1.7%. Now, if I want to graph this, I go to second, y equals. Here I'm going to have my stat plots. I'm going to hit enter, select on to turn that stat plot on, and I'm going to go to the graph button. I might not get the graph or capture it right away. So what I do is I go to zoom. If I scroll down, I want to pick choice 9. That is my zoom stat. And that will help me zoom around the statistics that I've just graphed. And there is the graph of my binomial distribution. So if I hit trace, I can quickly scroll through some of the key values on the list and see the different probabilities. Like here it says the probability of rolling exactly eight fives is about 10.9%. Now if you have any issues here, you can always check to make sure that your calculator doesn't have old equations getting in the way. You can click Y equals here and clear off any old equations. And if you need to reset your calculator, you hit second, memory, seven, and then go over to all to clear up a whole bunch of stuff, all memory, and two, and it'll bring you right back to the beginning. All right, I hope this helped.